Hi everyone, this is Iris. An explanation is in the description box as to why I have re-uploaded this video. This is the pinup hair tutorial that I posted in January as my first pinup hair tutorial for 2012. If you are interested in how I did this hairstyle, then go ahead and keep watching. And hopefully this will be something new that you haven't seen before. Maybe you missed it back in January. But the first thing that I did is I divided my hair in a top and bottom. And the only reason why I am dividing my top section and bottom as opposed to just the bottom is just because it keeps it neater. So I have the top and the bottom. Then I'm going to go ahead and release the top section and start dividing it. So I'm dividing it in three, the left, the top, and the right side. And here you can see I'm going to start curling like so. And this is just going to make it easy for me to create that victory roll on the side. If you have curly hair, you definitely want to straighten your hair before you do this. If um, you have wavy hair like I do, then you definitely want to use this curling iron method. If your hair like shapes very easily, then you probably can skip this. But I decided to go ahead and do it to keep it very nice and neat. So this is going to be all one roll, but I divided it in three just because I have a lot of hair. So this is going to be the top section, and this is going to be my right section. So now I have all my rolls, and I did everything exactly the same, and then I'm going to work on the top like so. So the right side is curled up, and the left side is curled up, and the top side is going to be curled toward the back. And I'm just clipping it in place and I'm going to let this cool off. This is going to make it so much easier for me later on when I style my hair. I'm going to be using this curling iron, which is a clipless curling iron. I gave one away, um, I think in the last video. You guys should uh, watch my videos because I do a lot of giveaways lately since I've been doing a lot of sponsored videos. So I have all my curls down there and I'm just going to clip them out of the way while I work on the top section. So I'm just releasing my victory rolls on the side and then um, what I did is I just divided my hair like so. And this is just if you want it at an angle like this you can do it like this. You can also just um, do a side line. You don't have to do it like that like I'm doing but I just like the way this looks at an angle. Now you're just going to brush out all of the bumps and baby hairs and all that good stuff. And you're going to hold it at an angle like so. See how I'm holding it at this angle as opposed to directly up? And I'm just smoothing it over a little bit more. This takes a while to make sure that it's nice and smooth. Now what I'm doing is I'm just kind of wrapping it around three fingers like so and holding it in place, making sure that that hair at the top is covering the entire roll. And then I'm going to pin it from the back, make sure it's not saggy, and then I'm going to find another place to pin the bobby pin. As you can see, I'm working from the back and pushing it toward the side. That way the bobby pins are very concealed. So just brushing that, making sure that it's very secure and then spraying it with lots of hairspray. Now I'm going to work on this side and this is how I decided to um, divide my second victory roll. And I have a video on how to do victory rolls if you guys would like to see a much slower version. You can go ahead and look for that in my playlist or I will provide a link in the description box. So. All I'm doing is just putting the bobby pins in from the back to the front. And then I'm just going to make sure that the hair is in place, that it's all nice and smooth. And, and I should be adding some hairspray. If not, you should add some hairspray. But just bobby pin that. Now I have my bangs area to work on. And as you can see, I'm creating a pin curl, just rolling, 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 never letting go. If you let go, it'll unravel. So don't let go. If you mess up, just start again. Just be really patient. You'll get better. So I'm just brushing out these curls so that they're more like um, vintage waves at the bottom part of my hair. And that's it. I'm pretty much done. It's beautiful, simple, 
and totally doable. There I am spraying the hairspray as I told you you should have done. Oh, got a little bit of sagging back there, so just make sure you smooth it out and then you should add some bobby pins. So this completes the look. I hope that you guys enjoyed this hair tutorial. I think it's very easy to do and it looks really cute on a lot of people. Here's the back because I know a lot of you guys like to see the back. So here it is. And here are the weights or the curls. You can wear this anywhere. So um, this is a contest that I was holding before, so you don't have to leave a comment. Sorry. Um, like I said, I like to hold contests. So I hope that you've been inspired. Check out my previous video.